Take advantage of your richness before poverty. And in the first place, you have to earn that money and that richness in lawful way, in halal way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted for you. Not to approach the haram seeking to be rich and to have more money. For we know and we believe that the haram money, unlawful money, will destroy no one first but you in this life before the hereafter. As the story tells, the story of Sa'id ibn Zayd, one of the companions of the Prophet wasallam, and the woman called Arwa bint Uwais, she came, disputed with him in front of Marwan ibn al-Hakam, the Umawi Khalifa, that she was complaining that Sa'id took a part of her land. And Sa'id said to Khalifa, how could I take a part of her land for what I heard from the Prophet wasallam?" And the Khalifa asked him, what did you hear from the Prophet ﷺ? He said, I heard the Messenger of Allah saying that he who wrongly took a span, less than 10 inches, a span of land, would be made to wear around his neck seven earths. Who could carry that? Seven earths around his neck because of what? Because of malul haram, because of unlawful money, unlawful richness. So Sa'id ibn Zayd mentioned that hadith in front of the Khalifa, and the Khalifa told him, you know, there is no evidence to ask you about that. And after that, Sa'id ibn Zayd raised his hand, making dua against that woman. Oh Allah, make her blind if she has been told a lie, and let her to die in her own land. And the narrator said, she didn't die until she lost her eyesight. And once, while she was walking in her land, she fell down in a hole and died. And after earning that money from halal way, you should do your obligation towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spending your money on yourself and your family, your wife, your kids, your parents included if they were in need, and then to give sadaqa wajiba or zakah, which is the obligated sadaqa, the obligated the charity, then the volunteered one.